Hi and welcome to the Survival Gearless video series. Today I'm going to teach you how to run your refrigerator during a blackout from an alternate source of energy. But I'm not talking about a blackout that just lasts you know, a few hours. I'm talking about something that lasts six or more hours. Your freezer, this is a bottom freezer uh, refrigerator, things in there will last six hours uh, pretty easily. You have a lot of frozen material in there that's not going to thaw that quickly. But it's your top part that after about six, seven hours, uh, especially dairy items are going to start to warm up to a point where you may want to think about throwing them away. But instead of doing that, there's a way to hook up your refrigerator and, uh, and run it for a few hours to cool it down. So I'm going to prove to you that the refrigerator is off. There is no light inside. And also here I have it unplugged from the back and it is in, it's plugged into an outdoor extension cord. You want to use those instead of those skinny indoor cords uh, just because the amount of power that is drawn. So I'm going to take you out to the garage and show you what it's hooked up to. So we're just going to follow the snake of extension cords. And there's the alternate source of energy, which is your automobile, which is basically just a generator. So I have uh, an inverter here. This is an 800 watt inverter. It is hooked up to the car battery. And one uh, another tip I have is I always put a, a white uh, paint plus sign on my batteries because it uh, at night when you have to jump this thing, there's no red covering on this battery at all. So just to make sure if it's night or raining outside, uh, you know where your plus sign is, easy to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, which is gonna in turn, turn the refrigerator on. And it's going to cycle on. All right, so it's giving me errors that the battery doesn't have, uh, going to have enough power to be able to start the refrigerator. So I'm going to go start the automobile. Okay, now the uh, the car is started. You can see that uh, the voltage coming from the battery has increased from about 12.5 up to 13.3. That's the uh, alternators running on it. So we have it all hooked up. It's hooked up to the extension cords and we're going to go right back in. Into the kitchen, follow the snake of cords. And I can hear the refrigerator running. Impresso, light is on. So obviously you want to pull your car out from the garage so you don't uh, fill your garage with carbon monoxide. And uh, also, you know, you got to keep a full tank of gas because you're going to need to run that for about, you know, two hours to chill the fridge down. But it is a great way to, if you're out of power and it's been, you know, six hours and you don't want to lose what's in there, you can hook it up to your car and run it for a few hours and cool it down and then turn off your car and just repeat the process every couple hours. So hope that's a great tip for you. Thanks for watching.